We are gonna tie another trout clouser jig. This is what it's gonna look like. Uh, this is what I call a copper crawdad. Really nice little fly. Fish it for trout, fish it for smallmouth. Um, why couldn't you fish it for steelhead? You could, De definitely. So let's get going. I've, uh, I'm gonna tie this on a size two. It's a 60 degree jig hook. And uh, uh, what am I gonna use? I'm gonna tie it with balls eyes because I have some handy. This is a 210 denier uh, Danville thread. I always say you can vary I'm sure that table is rocking. I hope that's not too annoying. Um, you can vary the eyes you use. These, I, I like these. These are, they're not real heavy. Um, I'll get my fly down, but they don't crash down. If you pay the thread part, you have to will. There we go. Now, I'm gonna use orange bucktail. Now this is orange UV. It's, it's a Spirit River. UV orange. Really nice stuff. UV active. Active. It emanates magical UV rays that Hypnotize fish into biting without reservation. So I was going to tie this with a, uh, a kind of a hot orange flat braid, but I'm going to diverge from that here. I'm going to use Senyo's crusty nail. Why? Because I can. Uh, this is a real nice color combination with any. Uh, Orangish, olive-ish, crawdad-ish, dace-ish fly. A little bit of Loctite there. We'll make sure that that body stays right where it's supposed to. There we go. Now I'm going to roll it over. Get a little bit more of my orange. My UV orange up. Oh, I didn't get enough there. Get another chunk of it here. Yeah, oh yeah, that looks good. Figure out how long, it, that looks about right. I could make it longer or shorter if I wished to. But here we go. Nice and tight on there. Let's throw in a little bit of a uh, Hopper, yeah. Ice Wing, Lava Lace for Flash. I could use Crystal Flash. I could use Flash Abu. Beauty is truly in the eye of the beholder here. I'm going to thin this a little bit. Before I fold it back. What I'm looking for, this is a fly with a, a little bit of bulk. It's going to have some pulsation to it. Uh, right here, this is a, uh, uh, this is an EP Foxy brush, olive brown. Seen this guy before. Use a craft fur brush. I could use any variety of uh, Sommerlatz brushes. These things make tying these flies such a pleasure. They really do. They're quick, durable, they're fishy buggy. Now, if you wanted to fly that a really thick old wad of material there, you just tie it further back on the shank and use more turns of this brush but this is you know two three turns is about the way I like it 
for my trout streamers. Not too much, not too little. Just pull that wire back. This brown 210 denier Danville thread, real tough thread. This is a real nice thread to use when you're using these brushes, when you're using these wire brushes. I've used 10 aught Beavis also, but this would be my preference. Isn't this a buggy looking? Man, what trout could resist this? What summer steelhead could resist this? What bass could resist it? Tarpon? I don't know. I don't see why not. All right. Hope you have fun tying these and get a chance to get out and use them on the water. In the water. Thank you.